dollar, 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 dollar. Dirt and money, no so. Had to go and get it, ain't no time to kick it. Got a stack of flip for my foes. Dollar, 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 dollar. Please tell me you can hear me. Don't turn your back and don't declare me. Just let me know if you need me. Dollar, 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 dollar. Let me watch out for my partners. Keep my money long, get my team strong. Let me run away from my problems. Yup, what's good, original crew, man? We're back. We got a death battle this week. We got Johnny Cage. We got Captain Falcon. You know anything about these two? Uh, I know about Johnny. I don't... Captain Falcon. Maybe so. Let me see him. Um, let me see him. I know faces. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, this should be an interesting death battle, man. Hopefully, we have some little fun with this one, man. Yeah. Hey, but with that being said, before you get into it, make sure y'all check out the links in the description box. Down below. You already know where to go if you want to first support. Hey, go check out the other content, man. Uh, check out the extra dose. We back on the Kid C channel with different content that y'all might not be expecting. Mm -hmm. We got some things cooking up. Uh, also, we got the Patreon. Go out, check out things. We're getting ready to ramp back up over there. I know we, you know what I'm saying. We're still keeping on with what we do, mm -hmm. but we're getting ready to ramp back up with a couple other things. You know what I'm saying over there. Always, also give us always rec new recommendation of what y'all might want to see on Patreon, especially our Patreon members. I'm, matter of fact, I'm gonna just holler at the community posts over there. But um. Hey, with that being said, oh, also, if you enjoyed today's visual... Like it on a thumbs up. I'm about to say, did I say that already? No. All right, let's go. Let's check it out. Let's see what's about. You ready? I'm ready. Let's get it. Whether it be to save the world or to benefit themselves, every warrior has a different reason for fighting. But when they're off to a kick-ass celebrity, all that matters is they bring the hype. Johnny Cage, the stuntman turned legendary hero of Mortal Kombat. Mm -hmm. And Captain Falcon, the racer turned bounty hunter on the track of F-Zero. He's Wiz and I'm Boomstick. And it's our job to analyze their weapons, mm -hmm. armor, and skills to find out mm -hmm. who would win a death, death battle. battle. Mortal Kombat is a deadly tournament dictated by the Elder Gods to decide the fate of entire worlds. Its contestants only include the best of the best. Whether you're a four-armed beast intent on conquest, a ninja assassin seeking vengeance, or a washed-up Hollywood movie star looking for your next big break, <laughs> Johnny Cage was a global f- Ooh! Just read the height and weight. Johnny Carlton. Height, six foot, weight, 195 pounds. Filmography. I know you go do your own thing. Oh, uh, basically trying to say he's in all these films. Okay. Phenomenon known for his over the top and dumb as hell action flicks. You're dumb as hell. His movies are awesome. We got Ninja Mime, Citizen Cage, Broke Nose Mountain, and my personal favorite, Tommy Scissorfist. Oh, uh, it's the only movie that ever really made me cry. But as with most celebrities, Cage's fame eventually cracked. Audiences lost interest in his stunts, and critics claimed he was a fraud. Which is bullshit! So to prove himself, Johnny naturally decided the best idea would be to join the deadliest martial arts tournament ever. What better way to stick it to him and show him you're the real deal than to save the Earth from an alien takeover? I guess Cage didn't really know what he was getting into. Luckily, he's no ordinary stuntman. Fans think my moves are all wire work and special effects. I am the special effects. This guy's trained all across the world. He's mastered four different martial arts, including Bruce Lee's real-life Jeet Kune Do. He's got nunchucks, brass knuckles, and his wicked cool Bowie knife. So when it came time to save the world, Cage could certainly hold his own against the greatest martial artists in the universe. Good thing, too. The lightning god Raiden really needed some help, because the outworld warlord Shao Kahn was just one tourney win away from taking over Earth. Okay, seriously, why does everyone always target Earth? I live here. It's not that great. Against the forces of evil, Cage discovered he was more adept at this sort of thing than even he expected. He possesses a mystical power passed down through generations, mm. originally stemming from a Mediterranean war cult which bred and trained combatants to fight among the gods. Uh, sure, that's not random at all. This power manifests not just as a shield against divine forces, but also as a mythical energy Cage can weaponize. He can fire shadow bolt energy balls, punch you to pieces with a shadow uppercut, do a guile impression with the eclipse kick, and knock the shit out of you with his patented shadow kick. But even with these powers, Cage is still a mortal man. Whenever he found himself in trouble, he needed a go-to technique to get out of it. Oh, and he came up with the absolute perfect move. 
It's the Nutcracker, the oh, Berry Buster, okay. the Infertilizer, the Beanbag Barrage, the Not That Kind of Blow Blow, and my personal favorite, the Help Doctor, I think they're in my ribcage special. Oh, that's horrifically disturbing. It's inspiring, that's what. He's strong enough to rip your whole body apart and send your Johnson flying off to another country. Fatality! Oh, God, what the hell? This is Man. my first rodeo. <laughs> Despite Cage's crude and downright juvenile behavior, he proved worthy enough to be a champion of Earthrealm. The dude's strong enough to chop through a human head, a chunk of titanium, and even diamond. Applying the density of diamond, crushing some of this size would require nearly 50 million joules of energy. That's like getting hit by 26 monster trucks at the same time. Cage is quick enough to dodge point-blank automatic gunfire and tough enough to power through Sub-Zero's ice blast, which stops or even kills most people instantly. He's breaking those jumps apart like they're made of glass. Johnny even beat the shins off Shinnok, who's a freaking god. Thanks to his ancestral powers, which seem specifically tailored for this exact purpose, which is pretty remarkable. Shinnok's full power is a bit tricky to lock down, but he's pretty similar to Raiden, who fired a blast that obliterated this huge temple along with his enemies. So it's definitely a desperate max power move. As Buddhist temples typically avoided the use of stone in construction, we took the typical composition of wood and concrete into account while measuring the structure to determine this blast must equal nearly 270 tons of TNT. More than enough to level an entire city block. Damn! Who cares if Johnny's a pain in the ass when he can compete with power like that? Well, he wouldn't be a pain forever. Cage eventually found happiness with a family, including a daughter just as skilled as he is. He even earned new success in his film career with a series based on his adventures. But he never got tired of defending Earthrealm from the forces of Ugly. God bless that beautiful man. <laughs> Those are $500 sunglasses, asshole. Damn. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, okay. We were for, uh, familiar, familiar a little bit. Mm -hmm. A little bit. Just a tiny. With Johnny Cage. Mm -hmm. uh, now are you familiar with this? Mm-hmm. Oh. Mm-hmm. It's the year 2560, and the world's gone crazy! Aliens are everywhere, we're traveling through space, and best of all, there's a brand new sporting town! An intense mix of high-speed racing with anti-gravity techno what's this This is F-Zero! So much better than NASCAR! You seem pretty chipper. Well, yeah! F-Zero's freaking awesome! Why don't we have this in real life yet? Probably because it's extraordinarily dangerous. On the F-Zero Grand Prix, one wrong turn can end your life. Mm. Yeah, what's your problem? The ones that survive are the best of the best, mm. including the champ himself, Captain Falcon. To most of the world, Falcon is... All right, Captain Falcon, real name. Real names. Douglas J, Andy Summers, and Ryu Zuzu. All right, age 37. <laughs> it's Suz Suzaku. That's what That's I would what say. I was about this. Uh, age 37, height 6'8. Weight 310. Respected bounty hunter, three time F Zero champion, favorite food, tripe. And it's uh, or and it's uh, it was a trip. I've heard of something like this before, but but I, I could be wrong. But um, we heard nothing. Uh, what 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 have you heard? <laughs> Scroll down so you can see the um, image. Oh, I, yeah. Tongue, right? Look I've like heard the line in of the tongue of beef hog or sheep stomach. Stomach. Because Stomach. at first I was like, I've heard of it in a beef form. I feel like I've heard, yeah. Let me see what it, let me see what it looks like real quick. I just want to see what it looks You ain't got to take it out. Yeah, on. I did. Yes, 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 yes. I've seen it. Yes, 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 this, yes, yes. That's, that's nasty to me. The way it looks. Yeah, that's nasty. I know Don't what it was. Look at it in a pot. Yeah, I've seen it before. Um, the uh, uh, Jenny Cage was six foot. Mm -hmm. One. Forgot 80. the height. No, he bigger. 
Oh yeah, he's way bigger. He's a legendary racer and household name, but that's about it. Otherwise, he's a mystery. Like Batman. Sort of. Off the track, Captain Falcon is actually an accomplished bounty hunter, dedicated to a mission of saving the universe from the vile forces of Black Shadow. Is that like a heavy metal band or something? No. Well then dibs. Black Shadow is a cold-blooded king of crime, determined to bend the universe to his will. He's also got horrible taste in style. How often do you think that thing gets caught on door frames? Truly the most evil of evils. To take well, on Rhino. Black Shadow, Falcon's a goddamn badass. He's super tough and super skilled in martial arts. Best of all, he's got a bunch of fiery super moves. The speedy Falcon Kick, the unpredictable Raptor Boost, and Falcon Dive, where he humps people so hard they explode. What? what? Just calling it like I see it, Wiz. Either way, as impressive as these techniques are, they pale in comparison to his greatest and most famous. Falcon Punch! Show me a moves. He literally punches people so hard they explode in bird shaped fire, which is awesome, but how? Well, as evident from his other techniques, he's not moving so fast he's igniting the air or anything like that. Rather, Falcon seems to possess some limited form of pyrokinesis. And mm. while the reason for this has never been specifically explained, it's the bad. answer may lie within his sleek F Zero machine, the Blue Falcon. Oh yeah! This baby uses magnetic and G diffuser tech to rocket over 1,500 kilometers per hour. That's more than 35 times faster than the Bugatti Chiron Sport, the mm -hmm. fastest car in the world. But when he wants to push the Blue Falcon even further, he taps into its hidden reactor might. Now you might be asking, what's a reactor might? Oh, you know, nothing much. Just a magic piece of the Big Bang that birthed all of existence. You'd think there are better uses for a fragment of creation than powering a race car. No, I don't, Wiz. Have you seen what this thing can do? With the power of the reactor might, the Blue Falcon can go Beyblade with a move called Boost Fire. Check it out. The Blue Falcon becomes a deadly energy buzzsaw spinning so fast that it increases speed and can even fly. A reactor mite is bonded with its owner and can even be called upon from a great distance away. Therefore, Falcon can summon his vehicle to his side at any moment. Reactor mites bottle up a ton of raw power. Put a few together and you can rip holes through dimensions. This one by itself went haywire and blew up this space station in one blast. Based on the space station's size and the ensuing blast radius, this explosion must have held a yield of over six megatons of TNT. Oftentimes, reactor mites also grant their owners a variety of superhuman powers, some even bordering on unexplainable magics. While it's technically unconfirmed, perhaps the reactor mite under the Blue Falcon's hood is the source of the captain's curious pyrotechnics. Who cares? He can punch a giant fire falcon of burning death, and that's all that matters. Like when he finally beat Black Shadow once and for all. Did he just explode the galaxy? Hell yeah. Well, don't get the wrong idea. This blast of light actually originates from the exploding dark matter reactor, which has the power to rewind the Big Bang using all six reactor mites. It's a long story. Oh, that's way less epic. Still, even beating up Black Shadow is super impressive. This guy could tank hits from a hulked out super alien no problem. Falcon's quick enough to take out multiple enemy robots in the blink of an eye, a feat which would require moving faster than sound. He can spot a sniper from several miles away and even survive an exploding rocket. His exact clone took multiple blows from specialized military personnel with no effect whatsoever. And as a bonus, Falcon carries dynamite powerful enough to blow up this giant weather machine. That's like a hundred sticks of dynamite in one. Where do I get me some of that? And whoa, wait a minute, that guy survived? While Captain Falcon did accomplish his mission and rid the universe of Black Shadow's tyranny, it took more than one man to do it. Oh great, here comes the power of teamwork bullshit. No, 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 I mean Falcon is literally more than one man. Go on. The name Captain Falcon is actually a title passed through generations. To date, at least three people have claimed the moniker, Douglas J, Andy Summers, and Ryu Suzuku. Each new inheritor is chosen by the current Falcon, who seeks a worthy hero who can surpass him in skill and ability. Mm. So technically the latest to take the title, Ryu, should be capable of anything the others could do and more. New life goal unlocked. <laughs> Wiz, I'm putting in my two weeks notice. While the man behind the mask may fall, 
Captain Falcon will always ride on, defending the galaxy one raceway at a time. So what you thinking? What you thinking? What you what you going with? I know what I'm going with. You already got it. Mm -hmm. you, you sure? Mm -hmm. All right. And three. Two. Do you know who you going? One, uh, one, okay. one, 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 one. Let's go. Okay, hold on. Can you just do it regular? And three. I would two, hate. Two, 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 okay. two, 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 one, 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 and go. Captain, Captain Falcon. Falcon. I'm going with Captain Falcon. Bro. You liked it? No. Three. Three, 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 three. Two. Two, 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 two. One. One, 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 one. Let's. Man, that's lit. Shut, I didn't know when I was supposed to go. I was confused. And when I say let's go, oh, let's Captain go. Falcon. Oh, I should have did mm. it on the beat. Mm. Mm. Let's go, Captain mm. Falcon. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Okay, I'm going Captain Falcon. Come on. I am too. Let's get it. <laughs> Gotta think outside You're the coins? box. Yeah. Okay. We're at the F-Zero Grand Prix, snagging some clips for my latest flick. That guy there? That's who I'll be playing. Yeah, you're looking at the next Captain Falcon. It's gonna be a pretty sweet game hey. for him. Did you say you're the next Falcon? Uh, yeah? Only one who can surpass Falcon what? can become Falcon. Show me your moves! You wanna go? Let's dance! Come on, Jack! Okay. Watch for the nuts. Come on, come on. Come on. Come on. You know Man up! Uh, All spare in show business. Nobody says that. You sports types really take auditions seriously! <laughs> I'm a bit. Uh, am I good enough for you now? It's a cheat code. Oh! Can be worthy. KO! Yes! F yes! Yeah! Oh, that was awesome! Okay, uh, just chill for a minute. 
Johnny Cage Chill. certainly held his own against Falcon, with superior he martial did. arts ability and matching mock speeds. But Captain Falcon wasn't a pushover and had plenty of experience with tricky opponents. Most of all, he had way more power on his side. Let's compare some of Johnny's best he feats to Falcons, though. specifically Crushing Diamond and the Falcon Punch. Yeah, when he hit that tough son of a bitch, Black Shadow. By measuring the area of effect and comparing that space to the heights of Captain Falcon and Black Shadow, we found that the electricity covered an area of about 300 cubic meters. Accounting for empty space, the amount of electricity needed to fill this area must equal at least 151 billion joules of energy. That's the same as dropping 12 elephants on Old Hornhead here, and over 3,000 times stronger than Johnny's Diamond Smash. Captain Falcon was tougher too. He survived a blast from a rocket launcher, but even more notably, he fared better against Black Shadow than Zoda did. You know, that hooked out alien guy who survived the exploding weather machine when he wasn't all hokey? So we can reasonably scale Falcon to Zoda, at least as far as those sorts of physical feats are concerned. Look at that explosion! Based on its size, it's worth around 100 tons of TNT. Mm. And while Cage's war cult powers let him survive battling Shinnok, whose power rivals Raiden's 270 tons of TNT blast, recall that this ancestral defense seems specifically tailored to counter such divine forces. A bullet could still put Cage down. Now. It has, and he's even died to lesser foes in alternate timelines. Mm. And anyway, Raiden's final explosion attack is nothing compared to the raw power of the reactor might under the Blue Falcon's hood. Numbers aside, this was a pretty even match, but Falcon's greater strength, toughness, and fiery arsenal tipped the scales. In the end, Johnny just couldn't finish the race. The winner is Captain Falcon. That was a good one. Yeah, that was good. That was good. I enjoyed the fight. And we both came out victorious. Ain't mm. that some? Uh, don't. What? I just said, hmm. I guess. Why? Why? why, why hmm? I, I, yeah, we both came out victorious. Y'all spend more something, man. Y'all let us know y'all thoughts about it in the comment section down below. But I, would, I will 100% say. What? That I felt the, using the uh, little, ain't no rules and fights. <laughs> that was a cheat code, though. You know what I'm saying? Like, that was a cheat code, man. But anyway, man, y'all well, spell... like a few rules and fights. But anyway, <laughs> that's, that's like getting hit in the car. That's enough for another day. And he right, getting out the car, beating your ass. That's like, that's for cheat code, day. man. Mm, yeah. But hey, y'all spend more stuff in the comments, man. Y'all let us know y'all thoughts and opinions about it in the comment section down below. But until next time, y'all know how it go, man. I do go by the name DJ Duke. This is Sierra Call. We are. We are. Go and get it. Ain't no time to kick it. Got a stack of flip for my foes. Got a 